Hey everybody, I am not William Myers from Manus Outdoors. I'm Chris from Prepare My 101, actually doing a video on Will's channel for once. Uh, don't worry, Will will be involved as well. However, comma, me and Will have been playing around testing some new saws lately. And in every single video that we do on a saw, there's multiple comments where people get really excited and I can actually picture them like bouncing up and down in their seat as they type it. And they're like, you gotta try the Bob Dustrude bow saw. You got the quick buck saw. Bob Dustrude. Bob Dustrude! And I'm like, okay, geez, God, calm down. We'll get a freaking Bob Dustrude. So, luckily I didn't have to buy one. Uh, a friend of mine that lives nearby and also watches the channel has one, and he was actually one of those guys that was bouncing up and down in his seat. So he brought one over and let us borrow it. So today we're going to look at the the Bob Dustrude Quick Buck Saw. So don't go away. Alright, so yeah, yeah, as you guys have seen, Chris has invaded my channel, but uh, no big deal. But like he said, every single time we do any kind of a saw video this comes up a lot in the comments section and to be honest with you i had no idea that this thing even existed i'm not one of those guys that knows a bunch of products that are out on the market i just know some of the things that i use that it works you know but chris brought this today and it seems pretty interesting it doesn't really take too much to put this thing together and this is actually the first time I'm putting it together. I just seen Chris do it once, and it's that simple that you can just figure it out. And then watch me totally blow it here in a second. So that goes in there just like that. The handle comes in here like this, and this is where you're gonna get your tension from once you fold this over, just like that. All right, so we use this for literally a millisecond and i just i mean you're gonna see here in a second but i just want to tell you guys first off this thing will kill your hands it it's not very comfortable on the hand these square big huge handles but other than that this thing solves like a dream let's go over here and see it all right so my limited very limited experience with this is this tool does the work you don't do the work tool does the work and I'm going to show you as I'm sawing you're just going to see me very lightly sawing and it's going to chew right through this wood I'm not pushing down I'm not cranking on this thing or anything like that I exerted very little pressure with that. Incredibly easy. If you are in a, in a hurry and you really want to get into the saw, you're going to bust out a lot of cuts really quick. I mean, I literally, I just let the saw do the work on that one. So I'm going to let Chris try this and let him see that same little pressure point that I'm talking about. The handle is just a little bit too big. If this could come in flush, it would be a lot better. But, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. I'm just making you guys aware of it. Okay, so let's talk about this from my st uh, standpoint, the design of this thing, because I've heard nothing but positive comments on this saw. And for the most part, they are totally justified. One of the big reasons why people like this saw over this Fen saw is this Fen saw has more of a triangle shape, which is going to limit the size of the wood that you can cut, whereas this one doesn't. It's more of a traditional bow saw size shape so you got something big this is going to do a better job at it this doesn't have any wing nuts or anything like this fen saw does so you don't have to worry about that it is bulkier than this fen saw or the corona saw or a lot of other different saws so this is going to be a bigger saw however it, it's it's good weight it's good space I mean, as far as how useful is the tool, what's it going to do for you, sometimes you got to deal with something being a little bit bigger. Sometimes having something that's uh, small and compact just means there, there's always going to be a sacrifice somewhere. But like Will said, the biggest thing, yeah, I can feel it. 
I mean, you're dealing with a, a, a square handle. So let's just say, like I do with knives, I've got the squeeze test with knives. Squeeze the handle as hard as you can and see where the pressure point is. I cannot do the squeeze test on this thing because that right there kills my hands. So I would strongly suggest having work, you know, which I always do, having work gloves in your pack if you plan on packing this saw because it is going to wear out your hand. And as opposed to like a Corona folding saw or this fence saw or something like that, those don't hurt your hand. So that is the trade-off you get when it comes to this. And if I remember correctly, this can pretty much take any bow saw blade. You don't have to have special specific blades that only work with this saw. So it just makes it a little bit more convenient. So let me try this thing out because I haven't tried it out yet. Let's just go right here. Definitely saw is really, really nice. I mean, I don't, as far as what's the saw teeth actually doing, how does it feel, I don't honestly feel like it's any better than this fence saw, but I don't have to worry about that fence saw getting in the way of what I'm cutting because the fence saw is going down at an angle. So that's the trade-off on that, but. You know, one of the advantages that this does have over the spin saw is that it is not exactly a traditional bow saw. I mean, it has, you know, some pretty rough 90 degree angles, 45 degree angles, stuff like that. But you can use the same techniques with this that you can use with more of a traditional bow saw. And that's putting your hand through it. And that just gives you a good angle for smaller cuts. You know, you're not gonna hold it here. You're gonna hold it here and try to get that cut. You know, for smaller cuts and stuff like that, if you needed something like this for God only knows what, you know, you can reach through, hold the, the, the lumber still while you're getting that cut. You know, we use that technique a lot with bow saws. But as far as it goes, I do like it. I just, it really does kill the hand. It's not really that big of a complaint, something you can easily get over with. But if you're gonna be using this a lot in the woods, if you got a day of cutting for shelter making and stuff like that, <laughs> It's, it's gonna get old real quick. One, this piece right here is the exact same piece we cut in this fence saw video. And if you recall that one, uh, it cut it just fine, but Will was having problems with it because of the shape of this fence saw. I mean, it was pushing the limits of what the saw could do. It just cut my blade strokes down a little bit once I got deep into it. I only had so much blade that I could use. Sh shorten my strokes, basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Now I can kind of see in the beginning you really only letting the tool do the work and then you know you kind of got not impatient exactly but just wanted to get through it and then you started exerting a lot of more pressure at the end. Impatient is an accurate word. <laughs> okay. But it I mean it worked it didn't there was plenty of room for it. I, I didn't have to adjust my angle 
or anything like that like we would have to with the Sven saw. So in closing, I think this is a great saw. It solves a lot of problems when it comes to folding buck saws. I mean, this thing pretty much takes the cake. If you can deal with that, you know, it's not the most comfortable on the hand, but like I said before, there's always a trade-off somewhere. Now it's not the most, it's not the cheapest saw on the market. I want to say this is somewhere in the $60 range, uh, between 60 and 70 bucks. But handmade, USA made, small operation, you know how it goes with that. I mean, uh, supporting a, a small business, it takes a lot more effort for them to do it than just stamp them out you know, in a big factory in China. So there's that too. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it does have directions for setting the saw up on the handle. And I'm not exactly sure what the website is because we didn't get it from them to review. Uh, we got it uh, from someone that owned it. So I'm gonna find that out and it's gonna be in the description box below. So you can go there if you wanna purchase one yourself. So other than that, uh, it's been fun here on Will's channel for once instead of him always being on mine. So see you next time.